Welcome to Elite at level Offering of Blood. So this is the sixth installment in the First Life Ginger Spice build series. Actually, before I buff up, I'm going to show you the differences in gear between uh, this level and uh, level 12. Uh, I picked up some cheap. Uh, oh, got the wrong ones going on there. Some cheap uh, Resistance 6 goggles. Uh, but I still have the resist four with feather falling because I couldn't squeeze in a feather falling uh, item, so that, that that got squeezed out. And then I could have put it on the ring of greater false life, but I'm, I'm next level, actually level 15. I want to put a plus four stat on there, so I didn't feel I don't want to have to recraft the greater false life. Added evocation two to the boots of electrical absorption, 33 percent gloves are the same. Got a ring of wizardry uh, six now. I've decided I'm probably going to go with the skiver next level and so that has arch magi on it and some uh, some more spell points and some efficient meta magic. Uh, so some more spell point savings. Still got the health plus six belt. Everything else is the same. For enhancements, uh, working on up to get the efficient meta magic, maximize just savings on spell points. Got the sunburst SLA, I think I had that last video, and then strength of solstice, so the evocation save uh, has been bumped up a little bit from last, from the last video, from the tr from the evocation focus two crafted, and then from the strength of solstice spells. So level 13, we've got Fire Elemental Form. So this is a, this is another power curve uh, for Druids. Once you get your Fire Elemental Form, which you absolutely should take at level 13 and take your Water Elemental Form later, so you can get Body of the Sun. Body of the Sun is extraordinarily powerful for these teen levels, uh, for like 13 right up through about level 20-ish. And if you take Water Elemental Form, you can't use that. Uh, you can only use it in fire elemental form. So I think it's 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 a lot more important to take fire elemental first, your cold element cold your cold spells and your, your water elemental form you're gonna be your primary form is later on, like level twenty and up. Uh, also picked up Word of Balance and call lightning storm. other significant changes. Oh, I also got regenerate with this, so now I have a way to recuperate neg uh, lost levels, negative levels. So if you're not familiar with regenerate, awesome healing over time spell. Um, in addition to negative levels, it removes, uh, let's see, bleeding effects. I thought it did more than that. And ability point damage. In addition to hit points. So I'd like to have, I'm not using the dog in this video, but I'd really like to have the Vampiric Stone Dust hand wraps for this level, but i just too lazy to farm it on an alt. be doing a epic elite at level version of this on ginger spice soon. I've been playing scary spice this tune uh, a lot just because of this video series. It's been a lot of fun leveling this first lifer and it's uh, had some some fun challenges to overcome too. Still using uh, heal scrolls. I'm up to an 85% chance of success on using them so it goes off most of the time. Uh, this quest, if you're not familiar with it, is a zerg. Yeah, you have continuous respawns. You never want to just hang back and keep fighting stuff because you just fight stuff forever. You got to keep moving. So it's pretty intense because of the respawns and because of the sort of the way you have to zerg through it. I'm 
not going to be able to do most of the side rooms because uh, they are a lot. And it requires more than a knock one can get. Uh, another thing that makes this challenging is that lots of casters that are debuffing you. So you're, con uh, you're constantly losing your buffs. You don't want to spend resources rebuffing yourself because you're just going to blow through your whole blue bar. So the aura that's coming up now, this is Body of the Sun, and just so awesome at this level range. It's, uh, it does a comparable amount of DPS to Firewall, but is superior to Firewall in uh, several ways. One is that it moves with you, and two is that it costs less to cast it. Three, it can be extended, and it does, a, like I said, it does about the same amount of damage uh, as a firewall, but doesn't have to be maximized or empowered. Um, it scales better on its own than firewall does. find a resting spot. I'll try to remember to go over that. Show you the difference in scaling. The only disadvantage it has the firewall really is that it can be dispelled since it's a buff. You put a firewall down casters aren't going to dispel it. But this doesn't get put out by mobs that have like gust of wind or, or, or ice storm, for example. Effects that would put out a firewall. This will persist through. Also, if you're not familiar with this quest, it does drop the spectral gloves, which is, can be a nice TR item.
shrine onto the bridge. Yes, you can swim in Fire Elemental form. Seems like you should probably just explode, but yeah, everything is just fine. So the DPS, uh, or the way that this the scaling works for Firewall versus Body of the Sun. So Firewall says 2 to 12 fire damage plus 1 additional point of damage per caster level, up to 15. Body of the Sun does 1d6 fire damage per caster level, up to maximum 20d6 at level 20, so it's 1d6 per caster level versus 2 to 12 plus 1 additional point of damage per caster level. Right now, by the sun costs me 50 spell points to cast, and firewall is 69. And if you're not very familiar with this quest, you may not know that you don't have to go through all those electrical traps that are on those ramps. Put my feather fall item on for this. You come along here. Probably know that you can jump down on this bridge to get up. That's how you gotta get up. But you may not have ever noticed these ledges over here. That is elite at level offering of blood. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the video or the build, you can respond to my DDO forum posts or the YouTube videos. And if you're on Sarlona, you're more than welcome to send me a tell.